new developments in the search for the American reportedly gunned down near the Mexican border while he was on a jet ski. Over the weekend, Mexican soldiers searching for the body of David Hartley reportedly got into a gun battle with suspected members of a violent Mexican drug gang. And now police say two leaders of that gang are suspects. CBS News correspondent Don Teague has more. Falcon Lake and the surrounding area has been called a hornet's nest of criminal activity for the Zeta drug cartel, a powerful and fierce Mexican gang that's not shy about letting its presence be known. It's happened before we're out here patrolling and we see individuals coming across the, into the United States with the machine guns. Now Mexican police have named two brothers, believed to be members of that cartel, suspects in David Hartley's murder. Authorities didn't release photos of Juan Pedro Zaldivar Farias, a.k.a. L-27, or his brother, Jose Manuel, also called L-31. But the two are also wanted for several other crimes, including homicide, kidnapping, and arson. I'm a little hopeful. I hope that it's going to, you know, bring David home. Hopefully they can tell us where he is. There had been doubts about Tiffany Hartley's account of what happened, that her husband had been shot and killed while the couple was jet skiing on the lake and taking pictures of this sunken church. Where was David's body? Where was his jet ski? But there's other evidence supporting her story. This is video shot from a police dash cam. It shows the couple being pulled over shortly before getting to the lake, jet skis in tow. Where are you headed to the The Falcon? Yeah. Can go jet ski for the day or what? Yeah, I think we'll play around for a little bit. It proves that they were together, that they were en route to Falcon Lake to enjoy the day. But even if Mexican authorities now believe Tiffany, David's father doesn't believe in Mexican law enforcement. I think that uh, that lake will probably be David's headstone. Mexican officials insist they will keep searching for David Hartley's body. Don Teague, CBS News, Dallas.